Hello all my Lost Crew friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new video. Now with only two more days until Minecon Earth, we are all going to be talking about all the features that we know for all the bomb votes that will be happening during Minecon Earth. Because during Minecon Earth, we will be able to vote between three bomb updates that will be alongside the next big update from Minecraft. Now do note that this bomb vote is only going to be for the bomb that ends up getting updated first. So if the desert wins, then the desert will get updated first and then the other bombs they will eventually get updated but this will be alongside the next major update for minecraft java edition and minecraft bedrock and as well as playstation 4 so if you guys happen to enjoy this video then please let me know by leaving a like on it that'd be much appreciated and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and let's get started with the first update. Our deserts have always felt a little... In need of refreshment? No, in need of palm trees. And some friendly guides to keep things interesting. Jens, you know that meerkats aren't actually cats, right? Uh... Okay, uh, but if you want the desert to be the biome we update next, tune in to the Minecon Earth livestream on September 29th. So we have ourselves the desert bomb. So the desert bomb is going to be one of my personal favorites. Because basically we're going to be seeing a brand new mob, which is going to be meerkats. So it's going to basically be another type of desert mob besides the rabbit. Because right now the rabbits, they are pretty much the only passive mob that we can literally find inside the deserts. So we don't know what the meerkats are going to be used for. But to me, they sound pretty cool. So we also have ourselves a brand new type of generated structure, which is actually going to be palm trees. Now palm trees, it's actually going to be a really cool type of tree to actually have in Minecraft. Because palm trees in real life, they're usually thought of being found around an oasis or just alongside riverbeds. But for me, a palm tree may actually bring us a brand new type of wood type within the game for us to get brand new trap doors, brand new buttons, brand new planks, and so many more wooden items. Now, I am so excited for that tree. So with that, we're going to go and move on to the next bomb update. Baobabs, crazy trees with a silly name. Still colder than termites? Well, neither compares to the long-necked, feathery wonder that is the Austri- Hello? So it's up to you to decide which buying we update first. Check out Minecraft.net for more details and find out how you can vote on Twitter. September 29th! With the Savannah Biome update, we're going to be seeing termites. Now, with termites, they're going to be a type of mob that we don't know much of yet. So maybe they're going to be able to eat up all of our wood stuff. But they will be found inside the savannah biomes inside the termite nests made out of dirt which is actually pretty cool now besides that we also have ourselves another mob which is going to be the ostrich now yet again we don't know much about the ostrich but from what, we, what we've actually heard from the ostrich is that they can hide their heads into the ground because it actually does look pretty cool inside the video that you showed off so of course it's not in-game gameplay so we don't know if they're going to have that ability or not but i think that'd be really cool if they do now, are they going to be able to lay eggs? Like, lay eggs physically like a sea turtle can. Now, that would be pretty cool if they could. But more than likely, it probably will be like a chicken egg. And that's probably what they're going to do because eggs in Minecraft, they're kind of scarce. And the only way to get an egg is from a chicken. And, and if we actually had a way to get better eggs from an ostrich, then that would actually be pretty cool. But besides that, we also have ourselves one more thing. And that's going to be another type of generated tree structure. And it's going to be a giant, giant acacia tree. So, I don't think that we need this tree. Because acacia wood is really easy to gather inside of this biome. Because all you have to do is find a tree. All you have to do is mine up the wood. And then you'll be all good. I mean, uh, with the big trees, we don't really need a big savanna tree inside of Minecraft. And to me, it seems kind of like a waste of materials there. But that's just me. Please let me know what you think of this big giant tree. Because I'm actually thinking that a big giant tree in Minecraft is going to be like the dark oak tree. But the dark oak tree, it can only grow with a 4x4 four four sapling area. But for this new tree, we're going to have to have a 4x4 four four mm, sapling area. There's as nothing well. quite as Swedish as eating fresh berries. Or enjoying a freshly crafted campfire. Why surrounded by one or two or, uh, Five foxes? If you want a tiger to be the biome we update next, tune in to the Mank on Earth livestream on September 29th to cast your vote on Twitter. Onwards! So here you are inside the tiger biome. Now, the tiger biome is going to be a really, really difficult choice between the desert because with the desert all the way over there and with the savanna, we do have some really interesting features. 
But for this type of bomb right here, it's actually going to have some really interesting features and some brand new mechanics possibly. Now, one of the things I'm actually really ready for is going to be foxes. Now, foxes in Minecraft, it actually seems like a really cool mob. I mean, just retext to the wolf and then you already have it within the game. But why hasn't the fox come to Minecraft in the first place? I mean, I have no idea. But for the fox, I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to tame this mob. Because from the wolves, we are actually able to tame them as well. No, we're able to dive their collars and stuff like that. And they're able to attack different mobs like skeletons and other creatures. Now for the fox, I'm really hoping that it has the same functionality as of the wolf. But for now, let's move on to the next feature, which is going to be berries. Now berries in Minecraft... We've never had a brand new fruit in the game before. Everybody always thought that we need bananas within jungles. Everybody always thought that we needed, let's say, oranges in the trees. But if this bomb wins, then we're actually going to be getting ourselves some brand new fruit, which is actually very, very awesome. Now, we don't know if we're going to be able to maybe use the right trigger to end up picking off the different berries and stuff like that, or maybe right click to end up picking up all the berries. I mean, we don't know what we're going to be able to do with the berries yet. But maybe we're going to be able to make ourselves some pies. I mean, I made a whole video all about that just the other day. I'll link it down below in the description. But for the final feature within this bomb, it's going to be campfires. Now, a lot of people, they're going to be singing around the campfire, singing the campfire song all day long. If you all know what that is, right? Of course, Spongebob. I mean, you got to love Spongebob, right? Uh, but anyway, back on topic. With the campfires, I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to maybe cook up different types of foods. Now, obviously, we will not be able to smelt any ores, so this will probably be a weaker version of the furnace and an earlier version of the furnace to where we end up getting ourselves different foods. But now that we have all the different features out of the way for all the bomb votes, please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Which bomb are you going to vote for and which feature do you want the most? Do you want the desert bomb update? Do you want the savannah bomb update? Or do you want the taiga bomb update? Now, I really want foxes. And I really do want palm trees, but I'm definitely not voting for Savannah. So that's definitely off my list. So I have to think to myself, uh, which bomb we're actually going to vote for. So more than likely, I'm probably still going to vote for deserts because the deserts, they are fairly, fairly bland. And we could use a brand new type of tree inside of the desert. I mean, that's just me. That's how I'm thinking here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it. That'd be much appreciated. And subscribe for more videos by me in the future. And for now... I hope that you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Before we go ahead and end off the video, I just want to go ahead and announce the winner of that Nox Crew Grade Runners code. So basically, I've been running a giveaway all this week, and so I picked one winner, and that winner is Nova So Bored. So congratulations on the free code. Go ahead and check your direct messages over on Twitter, and you should find the code.